what would you advise your patients when they come in? And, and this was, the study was done in patients who had milder disease at, at baseline when you enrolled them. What we'd advise patients is that pregnancy is safe if your disease isn't flaring, if your disease inact is inactive at the time when you plan to conceive that you have to continue to be followed regularly by your rheumatologist and a high-risk obstetrician, but your likely outcome is very good. I also think it's important about, with regard to compliance to medication. And we all, the investigators in the site, strongly encourage patients to maintain their hydroxychloroquine throughout pregnancy. And of course, not to be on any medications it would be contraindicated, but it, this study really illustrates, I think, the power of pre-pregnancy counseling. I think this study is very hopeful, and it's encouraging even for patients with active disease, because what we found is that even in the history, with a history of nephritis, if your disease is inactive, at the time you conceive, your outcomes can be excellent. So they shouldn't be discouraged, but they need to get their disease in control before planning a pregnancy. Okay. I would say that the same parameters apply across the ethnicity racial groups, and that's good news. However, it you needs to be acknowledged that the numbers are somewhat limited. Again, about half the patients were Caucasian, the other half distributed among the minorities. But I was pleased that we at least could contribute Asians, which really they're very underserved in a lot of such studies. So I think Jane and I have a substantial amount of work to do. Um, it would be fantastic if we could even further enroll those minorities so that we'd have more robust numbers upon which to base these conclusions. I think what's also very important here is that women of color have more prevalent and more severe disease, and we weren't able to pick up differences in them. So that's a very positive finding, too. This is Carrie Walker reporting for Global Medical News Network.